According to new research, gum disease may play a role in male erectile dysfunction. Here to shed some light the role gum disease plays in overall health is Dr. Roger Briggs in Scottsdale, Arizona. Dr. Briggs, how is gum disease related to ED? With gum disease, as we've known now, um, more and more things are being linked to this inflammatory, this infection that occurs in our mouth. Um, you know, we've known for some time now that it's related to strokes, that it's related to heart attacks, uh, it's definitely linked to diabetes. Um, all of these things that are linked to inflammatory conditions or the circulation. So it wasn't very long before some researchers somewhere said, well, if this is uh, associated with those things, perhaps erectile dysfunction, uh, which is a blood flow issue, uh, might be related to it. What is periodontal or gum disease? Yeah, those are big words, um, but the bottom line is it's a bacterial infection, and uh, there's about 500 different types of microorganisms that can live in a normal, healthy mouth, <clears throat> but when we get pathogens that start to grow down into the bone and, and the gums of our teeth, uh, it, they become pathogens that now have access to our circulation system. They can get in your bloodstream and uh, begin to raise havoc in all parts of your body. Okay, now, how does this relate to men who are in their 50s? You know what these researchers found, <clears throat> that these are all men over 50 that they were evaluating for erectile dysfunction. Those that had light periodontal disease or light infection, um, their erectile dysfunction rate was at 2%. If they had moderate periodontal disease, uh, it was at 10%. And then if they had severe periodontal disease, their erectile dysfunction went up to 16%. So that's an eight-fold increase from light to severe periodontal disease, um, which leaves no doubt at all that there's a link um, that in some cases can affect erectile dysfunction from periodontal disease. Okay, should practitioners that treat ED uh, include gum disease as an indicator? You know, one of the things that's nice about um, the internet and, and news programs like this in particular is that um, healthcare professionals sometimes get focused just on their area of expertise and perhaps some of the erectile dysfunctional centers that focus on that treatment um, may not be aware that the current research is showing that periodontal disease can be a cause of it. So I think it's good for even healthcare professionals out there um, to learn that once again, periodontal disease, uh, it strikes at a part of the body we would never believe it would have anything to do with. How do you treat periodontal disease? You know, periodontal disease, when I started <clears throat> back in the dark ages, was pretty revolving around some sort of surgical procedure. Um, that's really changed, and for those patients who went in and found out they needed to have a scalpel and sutures and their mouth packed with materials, um, 25 years ago, even 20 years ago. Uh, the good news is, is that these things can be treated very effectively, non-surgically, and so the, it's, it's always amazing to watch patients who get out on the other side of treatment and are just absolutely amazed that it was so non-invasive compared to what they were expecting. Now, what's the first step in getting treatment? Well, certainly if your primary care physician is working with you at some of those um, conditions, um, suggest to them that you've been told or that you're questioning whether you might have periodontal disease. You know, some of the first signs is swelling. Uh, bleeding is always an indicator. And so if those basic things are happening in your mouth, um, I certainly would encourage you to see a dental professional and have that evaluated uh, so you know for sure what degree of periodontal disease you have, what, to, what your choices are for treatment, and get that resolved because health begins in your mouth. Thank you, Dr. Briggs. It's been a pleasure to be here today. This is, this is something that needs to be addressed for a lot of people. I'm Danny Davis. You're watching the Dentist News Network.